Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going over some shopping tips to help you finish out your capsule wardrobe. If you've been joining in this series, we have been going through an entire process. It's been over a month of putting together a capsule wardrobe that looks beautiful and that really functions for you and for your lifestyle. So in this video, this is the final video of this series where I'm just gonna be sharing with you some easy shopping tips that will make the whole process go a lot smoother. So let's get started. Okay, my first tip is for you to dress comfortably. If you want to wear clothes that are easy to get in and out of, so many times like I wanna look cute when I go out shopping, and uh, which is nice too because when you do dress up a little bit, you can get a little bit better service sometimes when you need to ask for help. But uh, anyway, aside from that, it needs to be something you can easily get in and out of and so that it's easy for you to uh, try on clothes. So when you're buying your pieces and you, let's say you go, you have in mind, you should have a shopping list from our previous video of what you're looking for. And so if you're buying in person at a store, which honestly, <laughs> I recently went to the store to go shop for something specifically and I had a brain freeze. I almost thought like, I don't even know how to shop at a store anymore. It's so easy just to type in exactly what you're looking for online and buy it. But then you don't have the benefit of actually trying on those pieces to see how they fit. And I do think that that is hard to beat. So <laughs> let me, I really thought about it and I've got some tips for you on how to shop in person for what you need. So let's say you know what you're looking for and you find items that you think will meet those needs. When you go to the dressing room area, you want to be sure to go to where there is the three paneled mirrors. You want to pick a room that's near that three paneled mirror because that is going to be really useful for you when you're trying on your pieces. When you look at a mirror just straight on, it doesn't give you a full picture of how that item, that garment fits on you. So um, it's good to step out of your dressing room, which I know it's not always comfortable with other people around looking at you and you trying on this garment to see if it works for you, but trust me, it's worth it. So when you step out in your garment, go to that three panel mirror and look from every angle of how it fits your body. And you really want to focus on the fit. And if something doesn't fit you quite right, think about could this problem be tailored? And if it can, then that's fine. You can go ahead and get the garment. And uh, another thing is that when you're trying on your garment, you want to really move around. And if you don't feel comfortable at the three panel mirror doing this part, you can do this in your dressing room, but you don't want to just stand there and look from the front and look from the back. You want to think about what activities you're doing in that garment. So go ahead and like, if you think you're going to be like bending down to pick up your child, go ahead and do that motion, that movement of bending down and reaching down. You know, raise your arms. You can like sit down in the item on the little bench there and just see how does it flow? How does it move? Is it comfortable to move in and do activities in? And if the answer is no, maybe you need a different size or maybe that style is just not working for you. Another thing uh, that is useful is for you to take along your colors. We talked about your color palette that your um, that are your most flattering colors and we also talked about brand colors and I have that video linked down below but it's nice and useful to have that on your phone so that you can do color matching with items that you're considering to see if it's in your ideal color palette so you're not wasting your time with those garments. Not that you have to be stuck to certain colors, but at least you know like these are the most flattering for your hair, your skin, and your eyes. And that'll just make shopping a lot easier because then you know exactly like what colors to gravitate toward. Another thing is um, ask yourself these questions. Can I wear this garment for more than one season? Is it in my color palette? And we talked about having your color pal palette. You also want to ask does it go with anything else in my closet. So you don't want to get a piece that will just stand alone. It should be filling a specific need or and expanding your wardrobe and giving you more options. You also want to ask, is it a flattering fit for my body type? And we did that whole how to dress for your body type and what are the most flattering clothes for that? Do you have an occasion to wear that piece? Is it meeting your lifestyle needs or is it just going to take up space in your closet? Try to shop according to your pyramid that we created which shows you what your needs are. So your largest uh, needs you should be filling. You should be really focusing on those areas instead of like, oh, I really like this gorgeous cocktail dress, you know, and maybe you just don't have occasions to really wear that. So try to, you know, you can appreciate that item, but try to focus on what you might need, which is more casual wear or active wear. Another thing to consider when you're thinking about your pieces is does this garment need ironing? What sort of care does it need? Does it need dry cleaning? 
So if you're wanting to do something that takes minimal care, minimal ironing, you can just put it on and go. Just consider the material types. And if you're not quite sure by reading the label like linen, does linen um, get wrinkles or does cotton, you know, if you're not quite sure about that, take that garment in your hand and you'll squeeze and release and if it holds a wrinkle very well then you know that as you're getting into the car or as you're putting on your purse strap that it might cause wrinkles even if you just iron so that is just something to consider when you're buying these pieces like how low maintenance is this piece or if it needs special care washing and drying you can read those labels to help you figure that out another tip is you don't forget that there are ladies there at these clothing stores who can help you especially smaller boutiques there are people who can give you styling tips so let's say you find uh, an item that is interesting to you, you know, it looks appealing to you, you can ask them, how would you style this item? And they can give you some style tips. It's also good to look up style tips online, uh, different layering options to give you inspiration before you go. And then you can have an open mind. If you know in, in your mind that a certain style will look good on you because you know your body type and also a certain color would look good on you because you know what your seasonal palette is, go ahead and give it a try while you're there and see just to kind of expand your thoughts on what you might like to try and you might be pleasantly surprised and find a new style that you love. All right, but most of all, through your shopping process, just have a good time. I know it can be stressful because we all have like hangups, like I just, you know, like for me, I dread shopping for jeans because it seems so hard to find the right fit. And I may tackle finding the right fit for you, maybe. <laughs> I feel like I'm still trying to figure that one out myself. So, um, but just have a good time. Once you make your purchases, keep the tags on for a little bit of time. I like to bring my clothing, my new clothing items home, try them on, get an opinion from my husband or you know whoever's around and say you know what do you think about this and sometimes they tell me bring to light some things that I had not considered when I went shopping alone and then also you can just have it as a part of your wardrobe unofficially and mix and match it with the pieces that you already own so I would say you know you could even keep tags on for a week unless you're just like eager to wear it and take those pop those tags off just so that you can see, does it really belong in my wardrobe? And then if it doesn't, you can just take it back. And that's a beautiful thing to be able to try it at home and then take it back if it's not working for you. So those are just some quick and easy tips to help you with your shopping experience. If you needed some more help with that, please um, put questions down below in the comments and I can make an additional video to answer those questions. And if you want some one-on-one -on -one help or some uh, inspiration and just community with the whole process, I do have a Facebook group, which is linked below that you can join and you can ask me questions there if you want and connect with some other ladies who are in the process of putting together a capsule wardrobe or at least interested in the process. So I do hope you have enjoyed this entire series of how to put together a capsule wardrobe and it was helpful for you. Again, if you have questions, I would love to take a, a jab at them and see if I can't uh, shed some light on your questions and give you some additional help with that. So thank you uh, for joining me in the process. I'm honored that you've given me your time by watching these videos and joining the Facebook group and just uh, interacting through the whole process. And I do hope it was beneficial and good for you. And I look forward to seeing you in all of the content that I have coming up next on a variety of topics uh, having to do with lifestyle, mommy, and that sort of thing. So if you would, that sounds interesting to you and you'd like to stick around for that and we're not already YouTube friends, you can go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if this video was nice and helpful for you, you can go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Thank you.